Hello, welcome to Hacker Boxes. Hacker Boxes is the monthly subscription box for DIY electronics. Today we'll be talking about prototyping circuits using PerfBoard. The projects we'll be doing and the kit that we will be using all come from Hacker Boxes number 0003. So if you've stumbled upon this video out of context, you may want to head on over to hackerboxes.com, click on the Hacker School, and take a look at the Hacker School entry for Hacker Box number 0003. And there you can see a lot more detail on this um, kit that we're using, the Arduino Nano prototyping kit, and also the um, projects we're doing, see some schematics, some sample code, and a lot of links to uh, resources on the internet that um, uh, explain a lot of the details that we're talking about here. So we're going to prototype the circuit shown here for CW practice or Morse code practice. Um, this circuit allows the, um, the Arduino Nano to output a Morse code signal to um, a speaker and then also to show it by basically blinking a little LED. So you can see it's a fairly straightforward circuit. It drives a, um, a buzzer from one digital output line, that's a D3, and uh, on D2 it drives a red LED that just has a little um, uh, current limiting resistor. You can just use a 1K resistor, really anything from a couple hundred ohms up to uh, maybe a, f a few K, K a, few, a few thousand ohms will work fine for that resistor. And then uh, they both just uh, feed back to ground. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So right out of the package, the Arduino Nano um, comes with the header connectors uh, separated from the board so that you can you know, use the board by soldering it right down to something else, or you can attach the headers. That's what we're going to do. So it's pretty easy. Just go ahead and stand the board up on the headers, and then on the top, go ahead and start by tacking the four corners with some solder, and then just solder each individual um, pin down real quick until you get the header completely connected. And and then um, you know, this is what it looks like when it's all done with uh, the two um, single row headers fully soldered onto the uh, Arduino Nano board. So it's important to look at these um, pinouts here. The shows us what which um, pins have what signals on the Arduino Nano. That's um, going to be useful while uh, hooking this Arduino Nano up to our um, prototype boards. So the um, first uh, example we're going to do is uh, prototyping is just showing how to use a solderless breadboard. Um, this is kind of optional, just if you happen to have a solderless breadboard and want to try it out. It'll uh, get us in the mode of thinking about translating between looking at a schematic and then using the uh, uh, traces on a board to, to interconnect the, um, the lines or, or what are often called nets on the, uh, on the schematic drawing itself. So the solderless breadboard is useful because it already has a lot of the, um, the pins interconnected in these uh, vertical and horizontal rows and columns as, a, as shown in this diagram and that um, can save us some wiring and quickly getting the a board plugged together. Now looking at the uh, schematic of <clears throat> the Morse code practice uh, project using the um, Arduino Nano, we see that um, the uh, first component we might want to hook up is the little um, buzzer. It goes from pin D3 to ground and uh, on the you can see on a little drawing we've made here of the uh, solderless breadboard with the Nano on it that we can just hook that little buzzer there between the D3 and ground rows uh, right at the end. Uh, spacing is just about perfect. So, and then we want to um, have the uh, D2 drive the uh, the LED. So, from D2, we're going to go off of that with a um, the uh, uh, current limiting resistor, and we're just going to go well off to the side of the nano to uh, find a couple of un unused uh, rows there on the bottom. So, we'll go to the lower row with that um, resistor, and then between that row and then the other unused row, we'll we'll put our LED. And then on the um, on that top unused row there, we'll go. We'll just jump her over with a piece of wire from going from the LED to ground. Um, and it's important to remember with that LED that the side that's going towards the ground, which in this drawing is the top, the top of those two lines with the LED, should have the short pin of the LED because we do want to um, uh, honor the uh, polarity of that LED, or else it's not going to light up. So uh, if you put this together and you're getting sound on the buzzer, but the LED is not lighting up. You probably just have the LED backwards and might want to flip it around. It doesn't doesn't hurt the LED to run it backwards, so don't don't, um, don't worry about that. So plugging the components in according to that that diagram we made um, into a real um, 
real life uh, solderless breadboard, and this is what it looks like. And you can go ahead and hook up the um, the USB cable, uh, run the Arduino IDE, and load in the um, serial to Morse uh, uh, source code that's um, on our uh, hacker uh, hacker school page there. And uh, you'll see that when you type in something into the um, serial terminal, that it uh, beeps it out on the buzzer and then also flashes the LED. Uh, if it's not working, make sure your serial terminal um, connection is running at 9600 baud and uh, it often defaults to a higher higher baud rate than that. So now let's move on to um, doing doing this uh, the way we wanted to do it with a, uh, a perf board. Um, this type of perf board or perforated board is sometimes called copper dot board because it has these little copper dots on the back of each hole so you can solder the components of the copper dots and then you can effectively make your own circuit board however you like by just um, bridging the dots together with a little bit of solder. Um, it actually w works really well and it gives you something that's about as permanent as a circuit board, a printed circuit board uh, from the factory, but you can sort of make them up on your own. So it's it's a nice uh, intermediate point between using a solderless breadboard and then having to um, to have a circuit board printed by, by a board house. Uh, it's a little quicker and cheaper and um, it's a nice uh, uh, technique to use. So we, you can see we started here by just placing the um, nano board on the edge of the perf board so that the USB connector was um, extending over just right at the edge a little bit. And then we flipped it over and, um, and tacked the, the board down by just soldering the four corners of the uh, headers onto the, onto the perf board so that the nano board can't fall off. Um, it's okay to just go ahead and start like this uh, as, we, as we solder the, um, the copper dots and make the little uh, solder bridges as you'll see. It'll go ahead and connect the, uh, the signals that we actually care about at that time. But if you want to, you can go ahead and, and solder all the headers all the way down right now. It's just, it's just not really necessary. All right, so we'll go ahead and position the, um, the little buzzer uh, right next to the, um, the pin that it needs to be to on the, on the Nano and uh, go ahead and flip the board over so we can see, just make sure that it lines up with those pins correctly. And remember when you flip the board over that the, the pins on the Nano are, are then reversed. You kind of have to keep that in, in mind and, you know, m make sure you're, you're rotating them in your head. And then, you know, make sure it's in the right place and then go ahead and, and tack solder the two, um, the two pins on that, um, that buzzer down so that they're in place on the, on the perf board. So now we can go ahead and run the, the um, positive terminal of the buzzer from the D3 pin on the Nano um, over to, the, uh, to that buzzer terminal by, by just bridging across the copper dots with a little bit of solder. It's basically just soldering the, the dots together. And you can see it makes a, a nice little line, almost like a trace on a, on a, on a permanent circuit board. And, and that's pretty much how we do it. Um, and now we want to run the um, the negative terminal of the of the buzzer over to ground, and uh, here we can see just a, a little more uh, detail of how we can start by just putting a little solder ball on each of those dots, and then um, just go ahead and bridge across them with a little more solder, and you have a a little z uh, trace here. It's actually a, a jogging trace that goes uh, on one row down one, and then across another row from that negative terminal to the ground pin. All right, so we can flip the board over and go ahead and add the other two through-hole components. That's the um, current limiting resistor and the LED that goes with it. And once you have those through, kind of bend the leads out a little bit on the other side to hold them in place and then flip the board over so we can, we can start soldering. And we can, we can start the soldering by just um, go ahead and tack the, the leads. So there's, there's four leads there. There's the two for the resistor and two for the LED. And again, make sure the LED is oriented so that the, the lead closest to the ground um, trace there is the, uh, the short one. And just tack them down a little bit by soldering them to the edge of one of their uh, solder dots. And, um, and then we can come in here with some wire snippers and, and cut those leads down so that they're, they're just a little bit uh, longer than the surface of the board. That'll make it uh, easier to solder. Um, sometimes people like to just bend the lead over to where the solder trace is going to go and use the, the lead to make the solder trace. That works great too. All right, so now we can go ahead and um, get the solder on the solder dots uh, from the negative terminal of that LED down to the ground line that we were already using for the, um, the negative terminal of the buzzer. And the other end of the LED, the positive terminal, can go over to the trace where the, um, 
the pad where the resistor pin was sticking out. And then the opposite resistor pin just goes over to the D2 line on the Arduino Nano. And you can see we have uh, these um, four nice little nets uh, soldered up here, just as though they were traces on a, um, on a, on a factory-made printed circuit board. And when you can see when we flip the board over and plug it into the uh, IDE and load the software, it works just as expected. So there we have it, da 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 da, -da or SOS. It's uh, one of the first uh, Morse code or CW transmissions that most people learn, maybe when their scouts are taking their first radio class. It's sort of like the hello world of radio communication. So, so you know, of course, once you have this uh, this little circuit working like this and you have your um, perf board prototyping skills down, we can make some uh, nice little extensions to this. There's a couple tactile buttons that are in that that nano prototyping kit that you could wire up to a couple of the digital inputs on the um, Arduino nano board. And you can use them, um, you know, one first example might be to use them for uh, respectively as a di input and a dot input or a dot and dash so that you could um, enter Morse code uh, sequence on there and then have the code that you've already uh, seen an example of here, the um, actual Arduino code, go ahead and handle the timing and everything to to key that out through the um, the output uh, uh, of the um, the buzzer here. Uh, similarly, you could use the buttons as um, as a, a keyer macro. So you know, like one of your or, or macro keyer. So one of your one of the buttons could be uh, hard coded to um, to generate the CW for your uh, call sign or another one for a CQ call. Um, so that you don't have to do those manually. So, so there's there's a lot of little ex examples you can try here to really get your bearings with, you know, writing a little a bit of Arduino code to go ahead and, uh, you know, drive uh, signals um, out that uh, that have coded uh, coded um, information on them. And in this case, uh, you know, Morse code or CW coded information. So. Um, you know, uh, also if you want to use this board to practice CW, you can take the program that's, uh, that we've been working with, the uh, Serial to Morse, and instead of having the text come from the um, serial monitor on the input on the, um, on the, on the, over the USB line, you can just hard code in a block of text, which you could copy in from an electronic book or maybe from Wikipedia, right, so that when you uh, turn the program on or run the program, that it will um, go ahead and take the, that string of text and, and and play out the CW for each letter in order so that you can then write it down uh, and practice copying the, uh, the Morse code and get a little better at doing um, a CW copy before you're uh, trying to make too many um, over the air contacts where it can be a little more uh, frustrating in real time. All right, so we've seen what kind of fun we can have here with the uh, standalone CW generator, CW keyer. Uh, CW trainer. It can do all these things just depending on what uh, code you've loaded into the Arduino processor. It's amazingly flexible and a lot of fun. So, um, you know, if you head on over to uh, the Hacker School for the Hacker Boxes number 0003, you'll see that we have um, some interconnecting cable and some other components uh, in the kit that we've discussed to um, allow for interfacing to the um, audio input and output on a, on a handheld uh, radio or really any other radio and um, be able to uh, interface si uh, the signals from the Arduino processor we've already worked up here into into and out of the, um, the radio for doing uh, on the air keying and then maybe even implementing the KISS or keep it simple packet radio TNC which can allow you to um, modulate and demodulate data onto the uh, on the air audio signal so you can participate on um, on data uh, data networks right on the air so there's a lot of fun to be had in the world of radio and digital modes and you know especially when you extend uh, interfacing with um, uh, digital circuitry such as the Arduino microcontroller so make sure we you check that out head on over to uh, the um, hackerboxes.com and go to hacker school and and uh, have a look at uh, the hacker hacker boxes um, hacker school for number zero 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 three for for the rest of the projects that kind of go along with this. Um. And if you'd like to receive great projects like this and other cool DIY electronics gear in your mailbox every month, then please head on over to hackerboxes.com and start your subscription today.